Hey, what up, everybody? This is Stephen Preach coming to you tonight, talking a little bit about Kevin Nash and the upcoming WWE Hall of Fame. I think by now everybody's known about the Christmas Eve arrest of Kevin Nash being arrested in his home in Florida uh, over the attack uh, over his son. Uh, there was a physical disturbance at the uh, Nash home where basically Kevin Nash and his son got into a fight uh, when all was said and done, and basically. Uh, Kevin Nash was taken into custody because the cops felt at that time that Kevin Nash was the instigator of the attack. Only for after Nash was arrested, uh, Kevin Nash's son attacked his mother, and then Kevin Nash's son was taken in as well. Uh, at this time, uh, I think that uh, WWE has pulled Kevin Nash's uh, uh, contract, his Legends deal, and he's no longer, uh, I guess it's, it's under suspension. Uh, that's one of the, the sort of terms that they put into those legend deals. Basically, you stay yourself out of trouble, uh, and WWE will continue paying you uh, your royalties and a little bit more on top of that. That way, they can uh, sort of say thank you for all that they've done in the past. I thought that easily Kevin Nash would have been a name for this year's Hall of Fame, either going in as Kevin Nash himself or as Diesel. You can see that WWE really put over Kevin Nash on the True Giants uh, DVD Blu-ray release, uh, Blu release that was uh, last month. It wasn't even that long ago, uh, calling him one of the greatest uh, you know, giants of all time, putting him up there with uh, Andre the Giant, Vader, Big Show, uh, Yokozuna, uh, a lot of the bigger guys at the time. Kevin Nash, to me, honestly, will always go down as one of those guys who wasn't one of the best workers inside of the ring. Of course, um, he was sort of a bum in WCW who was spotted by Shawn Michaels and brought him in to be his uh, bodyguard. Uh, and on a whim, uh, uh, you know, Vince McMahon saw something in him and just pushed him all the way to the top as being his big daddy cool Diesel. Uh, and, you know, he's, and Diesel would always walk out, you know, Vince McMahon would always treat him like he was the coolest guy to ever walk the face of the earth. Um, once uh, Diesel, Kevin Nash, left the WWF and he headed over to WCW, he started the NWO. Um, they were the outsiders, him and Scott Hall, before joining up with Hulk Hogan. I do think that without Hulk Hogan, I'm not quite sure that the NWO would have been as big as it once was. But uh, you know, when Hulk Hogan joined the NWO, it shot shockwaves to the world of wrestling, basically making it one of the coolest things in the world. I mean, that's basically shot you know wrestling out of the the dark regions of pop culture into being you know mainstream. Everybody was wearing NWO shirts. Everybody was wearing Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts. And I'm not quite sure that that would have happened without you know Kevin Nash. I've always looked at him as one of the the coolest dudes of wrestling. Even when you look at him today, even with gray hair, even with black hair, uh, silver hair, whatever he's got going on, he just looks Joe cool, and he just looks like a a cool dude to be around. I think a lot of the things that the NWO was doing uh, to sort of set themselves apart was stealing things from. Uh, the, as you can say, rap culture at the time, coming out with the you know, Tupac style um, do rags, throwing up the gang related gang signs, that, you know, playing off of the East Coast West Coast rap rivalry at the time. Uh, you know, Kevin Nash's career, you know, had its ups and downs. Of course, everybody's always going to make fun of him because of his quad tears. Um, but I'm really hoping that you know, maybe the arrest stuff will be all worked out sooner or later and everybody will realize it's not really his fault. Maybe he's not a WrestleMania 31 Hall of Famer, but definitely a WrestleMania 32 Hall of Famer. But he's always one of my favorite wrestlers, uh, whether he was one of the best guys uh, you know, technically inside of the ring. He sold tickets, he moved pay per view buys, and he drew ratings. And I think that's what you know, means the most to me, you know, this. You know, when I, when I think of, you know, the conversation that I have with CM Punk, one of the reasons I really looked at him as, as being, you know, the savior of wrestling was at the time in 2011 when I met him, uh, you know, he was really saying his goal in professional wrestling was to make wrestling cool again like it was during the Monday Night Wars. And to me, honestly, Kevin Nash is what made the Monday Night Wars cool. Um, you could see that the desperation in Eric Bischoff making Kevin Nash Booker was I truly believe that you know, Eric Bischoff believes that without Kevin Nash, without Scott Hall, there is no you know, WCW explosion. You know, Eric Bischoff wouldn't have had that job as long. And um, I think that Bischoff knew that Nash was going to be able to try to reach the people more than anybody else was going to be able to reach him and try to save that company. So here's your, you know, Kevin Nash making it into the WrestleMania 31 Hall of Famer. We'll have to see if it works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't.